migrants and infectious and tropical diseases. That is a very interesting and hot topic now in Europe and in other industrialized countries. And it responds uh, to different imperatives, uh, both ethics, because we have to take care of people regardless of provenance, and also to protect uh, the community. So we have public health purposes and individual purposes. And also we have to consider that uh, migrants is a very generic definition because we have migrants from any part of the world, so it's difficult to make uh, a, a direct correlation between migrants and diseases. Uh, in any case, we have uh, uh, the need uh, to screen uh, and uh, to cure people who are infected, and you have different diseases you can do so for. Uh, you have cosmopolitan diseases, including HIV infection, hepatitis B infection, and even tuberculosis. And then you have tropical diseases, which uh, relates uh, much more to a different territory. Someone coming from Latin America could be considered for screening for Chagas diseases. Uh, someone coming from Sub-Saharan Africa can be considered for screening for Eastern for schistosomiasis or even Leishmaniasis in the case. Um, HIV infection now uh, this, uh, is a very important topic for any for any migrant coming to to Europe or to industrialized countries, and uh, uh, one thing you have to consider is that uh, once you screen, you should also have the possibility to treat. It's somehow useless to screen people without offering the possibility to have treatment. And in this regard, uh, European countries are very heterogeneous because we have countries such as Italy, Spain and other countries we can offer treatment even to undocumented patients and other countries we do not do so. So the first plea I would say, I would call the European countries to take an homogeneous approach to facilitate access to care for migrants. It's also important to have screening for hepatitis B because uh, you have the opportunity to prevent. So you, if you have susceptible people, well, you can also have the opportunity to vaccinate in order to prevent further transmission, especially for pregnant women. Pregnant women who are uninfected should be vaccinated in order not to get infected and to transmit the infection to the, to the newborn. That would be a missed opportunity if you will not do so. Uh, the third very important topic would be tuberculosis. Tuberculosis now we should uh, detect and treat as early as possible active cases, but also latent TB infection and also to provide uh, a prophylaxis in order to prevent reactivation. But the best and my last message would be to promote the access to care in order to have as, as the early uh, treat, uh, diagnosis and treatment of infected people and also to facilitate and promote prevention of susceptible population. This is both in the interest of the migrant and in the interest of the host community.